What's up guys, today I'm here to bring you a tutorial on how to get a metal sounding guitar in Reason. I'll just go ahead and show y'all just exactly what y'all be hearing at the end of this. Yeah, you're going to have to get the uh, pitch bins yourself, by the way, which to do that, you'll have to actually go into the sampler and look for the current pitch and change the range on that so you can change it how it's choosing. But um, this whole thing, it, it has a good sound for the high end, but I'm not too too fond of the low end. It, it, it has the sound, but it's not as convincing as what you just heard. But uh, anyway, go ahead and begin. So uh, make a new page and go ahead and load up a combinator. Then you're going to start off by making a line 6 mixer, or not a line 6 mixer, line mixer 6x2. And you're going to go ahead and make a RV7000 reverb. Make sure it is uh, wired correctly for the cinema turn values. And I'm going to go ahead and set the <coughs> auxiliary up to about hmm, 53 and the decay to 97 put the damp to about 56 and I'm going to bring the EQ down to negative 42 now I'm just doing this because I don't want to worry about this really when I come back after finishing the whole build so I mean you can follow along if you want and you feel free to add in your own you know settings for this because I'm just going by personal preference but, um, yeah, let me go ahead and just change this to 80 real quick. All right, let's get started. So we're going to start by first making a in an XT adva uh, advanced sampler. And we're going to load up the sample Stratocaster Edge, which go to Reason, Factory Sound Bank, in an XT sample patches, go to Guitar and Plucked, and then go down to Stratocaster Edge without the mutes. And that's pretty much it for now. Um, what you're going to make next is going to be a EQ. <clears throat> Go ahead and turn up all four settings, or turn on all four settings, whatever. And we're going to go ahead and start by bringing the low shelf frequency down to 80.4 hertz. It doesn't matter if we get that close. And the gain we're going to bring up to 6.3 decibels. And the EQ we're going to go ahead and bring all the way up. <coughs> now for the parameter 1 frequency, we're going to bring this down to 334 hertz. We're going to go ahead and bring the parameter one gain. Actually, we'll go ahead and bring that all the way up. <coughs> God damn. Fucking throw it. And then we're going to bring the Q down to 3.9. Parameter two, we're going to go ahead and put this to 5.1 kilohertz. The gain, we're going to bring down to negative 14.9. <clears throat> then the Q we're going to bring down to 2.4 for the high shelf we're going to go ahead and bring this down to 4.07 kilohertz uh, for the gain about 2.3 decibels around that little area <clears throat> And we're going to go ahead and put the Q all the way up. 
So that's it for that. We're going to go ahead and load up a uh, first Scream 4. This will be our first one for now. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. No, we don't even need to start there yet. We can go ahead and start off with a unison. Leave it at the 16 count. Bring the detune to about 15. And we'll put the dry and wet at 30. And then we're going to go ahead and make our parametric EQ. For filter A, we're going to go ahead and put the frequency at maybe about 95, 96, around that area. <coughs> the Q, we're going to go ahead and put at 87. And we'll go ahead and put the gain at 45. I'm going to go ahead and turn filter B on. We're going to go ahead and put the frequency at whoop, too high, around 79. Put the Q at 90. And we'll put the gain at 45 as well. Alright, now we can start off at the screen 4. Let's go ahead and move the damage control all the way up and set it all the way down to scream. <coughs> We're going to go ahead and set the perimeter 1 to about 57-ish. And perimeter 2 we're going to set to 94. For the low, we're going to go ahead and keep it as it is. <coughs> the mid we're going to move down to 46, negative 46, I mean. I'm going to put this up to 39 for the high. <coughs> yeah, so I keep clearing my throat and coughing. I think I'm getting sick over here. But, um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead for the body. We're going to put the resonance up to 50. And we'll do the same for the scale. For the auto, we're going to move this up to 22. And we'll set it to type E. So let's go ahead and make our second screen for distortion. We're going to put leave that at the distortion level. And we will put the control to, I guess, around 42, around the 40 area. Um, we're going to leave both parameters where they're at. The, uh, for the cut, we're going to bring the low down to 6. We're going to bring the mid down to about 41. And for the high, we're going to go ahead and bring up to 26. And we're not going to need the body or anything like that here, so we're just going to go ahead and cut that off. So let's go ahead and make our second equalizer. Turn on all four settings again. And let's go ahead and put this at 224.6 hertz yeah hold a uh, shift if you're having trouble getting the right amount it'll fine it'll put it like in a fine tune type mode so yeah you can see it makes it move a lot slower and a lot more easier but set the gain to uh, 6.3 <coughs> and then put the Q to 1.07 for the frequency here in parameter 1 we're going to go ahead and put it to 11.13 kilohertz the gain we're going to bring down or up to uh, 4.6 decibels and the Q we're going to put to 3.3 .3. Uh, for parameter 2, we're just going to go ahead and leave that as it is for the frequency. The gain, we're going to bring up to 6.9. And the Q is going to be left alone at 5.7. For high shelf, frequency all the way down. Gain at 3.4. And the Q is going to be at 0.77. Alright. <coughs> Let's go ahead and make a vocoder next. And make sure to set it to equalizer so that way the sound can actually travel through because I don't want to hear a bunch of comments of why it's not working. But anyway, 
go ahead and set the band to four band. You're going to bring the first one all the way up. Um, for the second one, I usually just leave it just above the mark between zero and negative twelve. Uh, the third band, I just left where it was. And for the fourth one, I put it slightly higher than the second band. So about right there will work. Um, <clears throat> for the shift, we're going to go ahead and bring all the way up and the emphasis all the way down. And the rest of the stuff is going to be left alone. So we're going to need to make a stereo imager after this because the high frequencies are way overpowering than the low ones. So it doesn't really sound too much of a guitar type style like a metal like a metal style guitar so we definitely need to bring the low ends out more or at least shave off the high end frequencies either way you want to say it but we're gonna go ahead and put it solo low band and we're gonna bring the X over to about 1.94 so that way we have some of the high end frequencies shaved off and they blend a lot better but after that, I'm just going to go ahead and make a delay line, which at this point you don't have to follow me anymore. But, you know, if you want a delay effect in here, then by all means. And feel free to, like I said for the reverb, use whatever settings you want to use. This is just, again, my preferences. But I'm going to use uh, the three step. I'm going to put the feedback up to 52, the pan's going to stay at zero, and I'm going to bring the dry wet at 20. Alright, and now we're done. You should start getting a guitar sound like this. So there you go. A nice metal guitar to rock the heads of all your listeners. If you found this tutorial helpful, please feel free to thumbs up. And if you have any requests or questions about this tutorial, go ahead and comment. And subscribe if you want to see more tutorials or keep up to date with uh, songs that I'm making, which I am actually just finishing up a song that I'm doing a dubstep cover over. It's the um, Kill Switch Engage uh, End of Heartache. It's just about done. I, all I have to do is just finish the drop and then mix and master it. But it's it's definitely sounding good. You definitely want to hear it when it comes out. So definitely stay in tune for that. But other than that, I hope this tutorial helped you all guys out, and I'll catch you later.